guys, Jared Walden with Krav Maga United. So today I'm going to take you through the entire Yellow Belt curriculum. Okay guys, knees. First of all, let's talk about different targets that we can attack. Groin, obviously, perfect target. Solar plexus midsection, if the head's low, striking the face with the knee. Now the key is, just like a fist, just like an elbow, to keep a strong knee, I want to bring my heel as close to my behind as possible, making this knee a solid surface to strike with. First knee we do is without a grab. At a short range, I can send a knee even as he's punching me, I can attack him with my knee, close range weapon, without even connecting or grabbing. Again, heel close to my butt. I'm driving off the floor. I get power again with my hips driving forward. Shoulders go slightly back to allow my hips to drive. My base leg, I wanna to try to get up on the ball of my foot, straighten out this leg so that my hips can extend the farthest they could possibly extend. So I wanna drive with my hip all the way through, penetrating with my hip, Slightly leaning back with my shoulders. Hands could be up or I can use an opposite hand as a counterweight, whichever works best for you. Ideally, we want our hands up so we can uh, transition to control. Good, so now one of the reasons why we want to keep our hands up when we're giving our knees is so that we can transition to different ways of controlling our opponent or keeping our opponent off of us. So we call this our cross body control. My top hand is digging in to meet muscle skin and I'm grabbing as much of that as I possibly can. Notice my wrist is straight. My entire hand, wrist, and arm are in the frontal plane. We're allowing him or keeping him away from me. This is my A-frame. I wanna keep my elbow down on his chest. Same idea, I'm driving, grabbing as much muscle, meat, skin as I can, clothing, material, holding on strong. I get my base a little lower and I set my knee up for attacking. I'm driving right now, I'm just gonna pull him into my knee. So I'm combining the forces of pulling him in as I strike, right now I'm going for the groin. I can do the same thing against the solar plexus midsection. I can do the same thing controlling the hair and the head, going to the face as well. So this is our cross body control, it's our A-frame. Again, we wanna make sure that we're not climbing over the back. This gooseneck is weak. I don't wanna be going over the back. Plus it gives them the ability to get underneath my barrier and take me down. So I wanna make sure that I'm keeping them in control. Grabbing meat, muscle, and skin, elbow down. I can go against the neck to drive. I can even extend if I want to with the palm heel of my hand, keeping constant tension, constant control of my opponent. That's one way to control. Another way is a double necktie or a Muay Thai clinch. I'm basically cutting off the blood supply here, high on his forehead or top of his head, excuse me, one hand on top of the other, elbows in, pinching off that blood supply. I'm gonna bring his head to either side depending on which knee I'm striking with. From here, I'm striking with this knee. I can also control him, switch to my other knee, again, Elbows are pinched in nice and tight, cutting off that butt su blood supply. I'm keeping his chin tucked so that he can't lift his head up. I have more control over him that way. 